Well, hello and good morning, gentlemen. Looks like I survived another day. So I'm going to change the oil on my car today. It should be simple enough, but you know how things can go wrong. Then you never know, I may get attacked by a seagull or something. Because on the south coast, at least in the UK, there is a big problem with seagulls. There's just too damn many. But because the goody two-shoes are protecting them with laws, you can't touch them, you can't hurt them in any way. Hell, they're almost as important as femons. There is one town that's trying to release a bird of prey certain times of the day to try and scare the seagulls away. Yeah, that's gonna really work well, isn't it? But you can tell the law was brought in by a femon because femons think like... Flowers are pretty and don't kill the animals. But there are other animals that got out of hand in the UK. And that's dogs and cats. Now I think having a pet and a dog and a cat is a great thing. I've got nothing against it. But some people have three dogs and three cats. And you multiply that times whatever in one street and you've got a lot of cat and dogs, haven't you? And most of the dogs are not just normal dogs, they're designer dogs. Accessories. And you can't go anywhere around here without some dog walkers everywhere. I mean, too much of anything is a bad thing, isn't it? You see, England is an island, and it's not very big. But it still has a very high population of people. But you know there's something wrong when there's companies around that actually take your dogs for a walk for you. I mean, plays ball with the dog for you. I mean, don't get me wrong, but why would you have a dog if you haven't got time for a dog? And we all know that Femons like to have at least three of those little yappy dogs, don't they? And then some cats as well. And I really don't have much time for cats because they're kind of like freeloaders. But cats will go outside and do their business, but not in their garden, in somebody else's. And if you have a lot of cats in the area, that can get quite annoying, can't it? And when I lived in Canada, I always had a dog as a boy. But a dog in Canada then was a dog. Not like here in the UK, which is an accessory. You only have to look at the price of dogs now to know that. But I never thought any use for cats, for any reason really. Maybe on a farm where their cats could get rid of the mice and that. Anyway, there's a guy in the UK, in my area actually, that didn't like cats himself. And he went around and started killing them. I think he was using a knife, mainly. Anyway, he finally got caught. And I'll put a link to the story down below. But you can believe where we are at in today's world. Because he's got five years for killing cats. And I don't believe in cruelty to animals at all. But they are only cats. You can imagine what he'd get if he was killing seagulls like that. Probably a death sentence, I suspect. Yeah, but wonder what would happen if he was killing rats instead. Ah, but that's different. But cats are generally a femon pet. So I guess that's why the five years. Now what happens if he was going around killing insects? I mean, to me, they're more important than cats. And what would happen if these were feral cats? And then what would happen if you went and destroyed an ant's nest? You can even buy stuff to do that. No, I think we all pretty know why he got five years for killing cats, don't we? So I wonder what person has levitated these animals almost above human status. More important. Well, flowers are beautiful and don't kill the animals. And I wonder if they thought the same when the bear's ripping their face off. I doubt it, eh? So it's obvious that cats and dogs and seagulls and that are far more important than men. But the question is, are they more important than femons? Anyway, let's have a bit of fun. I'm going to put another link to another story down below. And it's about a femon who's gone into the Guinness Book of Records, you know. Because she has the biggest mouth in the world. Not really a surprise there, guys, is it? Men have known that for years. Femons can nag and moan whilst they're eating a double burger. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a nice day. And like I say, I'm going to go change my oil and try and avoid the dog walkers sniffing my legs when I'm under the car. 
and the seagulls probably pecking my head and try and avoid the cat shit. Like I say, I got nothing against animals, but when you have three dogs and three cats living in a house, there's no way that the house doesn't smell like it. People living there get used to it, but it still stinks, doesn't it? You take it easy, guys. Bye. Meow. Shut up.